more gas on McDonald's on our way to the hog. Uh, I got new glasses too. Lots changed. Yeah, my hair is a mess. A lot changed. And we're going to the house of guitar. But this is going to be the first of like what? I don't know. I, I would say like uh, two videos, but there might be more, right? So it's like. Yeah, we're kind of sporadic. Of like a Ramones. What do you call it? Like a Ramones tour? Yeah. So this is like. Mini Ram tour. This is like Ramones tour part one. Rochester edition. Rochester chapter. So we still got to do the New York City one. <laughs> and then when this. When COVID and everything kind of goes down, we'll do the big one, which is the New York City chapter. Yeah. We have, we'll have a tour guide for that one. But today we're going to go to the House of Guitars, which is pretty iconic to them. And then we're going to go to the Penny Arcade, which is pretty iconic for them too. And Rochester. So that's what we got planned for today. So we're gonna eat our sandwiches and then we will. Yeah, so we'll see you at the hog. For yes. you, it's gonna be like 10 seconds. For me, it's gonna be like a 25 minute ride. See you then. Woo! We'll go out front and get pictures. Oh, yeah. Made it to the house of guitars. It's not just the house of guitars, though, it's the world famous house of guitars. Yeah, see, there's no reason to get my car insured anymore. I mean, this shit's not even going on. I know. Bastard took my spot in the shade. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> Look at that bastard. Bastard! Are you filming right now? Oh, yeah, I am. Oh. Not everybody knows. I'm this thing. This is a, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's like one of those things for those of people who are watching who don't know. I don't know how many people actually like are from like out of the city or whatever. But this is like internationally known. Like every like bands come here. Everyone important. Yeah. All over the world. Motley Crue and Ozzy have been here and doing a signing at the same time. And like maybe instead of just like maybe like we'll primarily do Ramones in here, but like. Maybe this could also be like a mini museum tour too, because like people, I mean, people were here. Like this is, they still do. Like we mm -hmm. met Mike Dern here. Yeah. You met. Um, Almost didn't. <laughs> yeah, you you met uh, Shannon Larkin. Yep. From Godsmack, and like we met the guys from Black Label here. Eddie Money's been here. Lou Graham's been here because Lou Graham lives here. Mm-hmm. Uh, not here, but you know. The Ramones have been here as we're that's why we're here for him. Metallica, but, right? But yeah, we'll we'll have to do like pan against the auto, the wall of yeah, autographs. The wall of awesome. I mean, people who like headline arenas all over the world, they make a stop here. Why? Because it's the great, great house. I got the perfect mask for it too. Oh, yeah. I'm rocking it. I'm using sure. my iPhone. Sorry it's not really. That. Oh, there we go. Now it's focusing. Woo! Yeah. Too lazy to bust out cameras. Hey man. Hey, is this one of our babies? Need a baby. Need a baby. Oh shit, I didn't roll up the window. You are a pain in my ass. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Woo! This is the back entrance. Yes, this is the back end. This place started in their mom's basement, too. In the early, early 70s, they started in their mom's basement selling stolen guitars and stuff. Which is awesome. And now this building is like, I don't know, I can't remember what they said, but it's made up of like eight or ten different buildings. Mm -hmm. And it's great because you'll see when we get in there, but most record stores are nice and clean. This place, they just throw shit anywhere they want. Which is why we love it. They know exactly where it is, but like... I mean, if you want, like, the, the, the new album could be under a pile of, like, Anthrax like, like, 10 feet, <laughs> yeah, like, just, like, stuff. It's like our room. We, it's a messy, but we know where everything is. I'm not really sure why we never did a video of it before. It's all right. We're doing we it now. Right now. COVID, you know. They just opened for COVID, like, after the whole pandemic. I mean, like, it's not over, but it's finally open up. Oh, yeah, Mira Records. Oh. Oh, That's yeah. the rec recording studio. It's in the basement. Back in trance, y'all. 
We are geared up and ready for our meds. Please, I mean, I never, I thought they never changed that thing, but apparently they do. Oh my god. Oh, this is not the same already. Oh. Cool, cool. Oh, no way. Oh. Oh, it's a crow shirt. Oh, oh man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Place is amazing. Yeah, Take it for got, granted sometimes. They got a. Uh, oh yeah. Two hundred pants. Or it's either that one or one of those heavy pants. Those gotta be yeah. right there, right? Yeah, two hundred pants. John Lennon's coat and uh, Elvis Presley's pants. And the fans on. Oh, look at the John Lydon poster. John Lydon right there. Yeah. Oh, I know. Holy crap. I know, me too. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, shit. Like, I never saw this photo before. Yeah, and then there they are there, too. Oh, no way. Where's that guy right now? <laughs> it's Jim Morris. It's Jim Morris. I still don't know where exactly where they are. They're on this side, I know. What autograph for things? around here somewhere. Uh, I'm trying to think. I know like Johnny's I think was like right here. I know that they're around the same spot. I I swore they're like around the same area. <clears throat> Johnny might be like hidden in here. Oh Johnny. Johnny's right there. Okay, so we got Dee Dee and Johnny. I don't remember where Joey was, so <clears throat> Was it Tommy the sign? Or was it Marky? I think mean, it's Tommy. Tommy? I believe it's Tommy. Yeah, I can see they're 
relatively like close to each other, those two. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like Joey's is down here. Because I remember one of them was covered. <clears throat> I swore one of them was covered up. Cause that's how, and they were like row around it. So it's gotta be in this area somewhere. Oh my god! What? <laughs> oh my god! So this is where they were standing. Yeah, where the skull thing is. So which and means that, that was Marky, so and that's Dee Dee and Johnny. So Marky and Joey have to be around here somewhere. But I think this is when they were fighting, right? Because they signed different. I think I no, think I they signed sign. far away. Trying to figure out. I swear it's like hidden in here. I feel like one of them was hidden. Joey's, I think. Figure guitars, you know. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's so many things in there. I feel like the Ramones. I feel like when they were with Tommy, they signed over here too. Yeah, you know, it's so hard to read them now because like, look how jumbled all of them are now. <laughs> yeah, like down there was like Marky. Even the like banister sign. Where was like Tommy though? So we couldn't find it over with Johnny. Well, we couldn't find Joey. Mark over there though because Yeah, because he can't have a corpse sign over here too and they signed down there too. Yeah, so we couldn't find them because they're covered with posters or anything. 
Which is just as iconic. I lied and saw a picture of them too. Oh. Guitar here, but it says it's here. Oh, look at the monkeys! Where? Guitar oh, or ukulele. Oh. That's where it's going. Wow, look at that. God bless our it's troops. Signed by someone God bless there. our troops, Charlie Daniel. That's so cool. Well, that's, and that's, that's them. Yep. Them. God bless Charlie Daniel. Genuine. Genuine. Same kind of guitar that Johnny played. That's the same one that's in the picture. Really? With the autographs. I don't see any autographs. The one that's up there. See what I'm looking at? The one that's up there? Oh, yeah. That's the same kind of guitars that he played. But that's the new autograph. But that's the same one that's in that photo. Hmm. We say if they ask, we're just looking at the autographs or something. They say we're just looking here. We can't play shit. <laughs> this is why it's called the House of Guitars. This place. Oh, it's Patrick. Yeah. We're looking for rock docks. Christ. I forgot. All this whole section up here. It's okay. I got that one. Oh, you do? Yeah. I didn't know that he did one before. Yeah. Oh, look, here's the. Good idea. Here's the uh, lead cord. Oh. Oh, I wonder. Uncle oh, Pat. That's the one about. I if Uncle Pat would like that. Oh, probably. That's his. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, have you guys done anything? Uh, just, I think we're just browsing. Oh, yeah. yeah, just looking. <laughs> that looks familiar, that name. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's. Oh, cool. Up here is where um, uh, Shannon Larkin did his autographs. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, because they made us go up here because I think they thought it was going to be like a huge oh, crowd, but there's nobody, when, there. there's nobody when I went up there. Look at these. Uh, these are actual amps that Marshall gave them. Uh, Holy they're shit. They're very cool. She gave them as like uh, for selling so many amps. Oh, but God. they're like their operation. That's, that's insane. Cool. I never saw that kiss one. Oh, yeah, Aerosmith. So, I, oh, here's that one. This is that one I saw in the magazine. Right here, it's hidden. It's the Monsters of Rock. Oh, it's signed yeah. by every band that was on the Monsters of Rock. It's worth like, like two hundred thousand dollars. Free lessons. It's about a dollar. Oh. Sunglasses. This is here. I'm saying this. Oh, 
Yeah, fun house. He's the famous blues guy who was from here. Yep. Jeff Goldsmith's autograph flute. <laughs> I like that. Notice how it's underneath Metallica's autograph. <gasps> That's how they get their justice. Like random goodies back here? Huh? Like random goodies back here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suburban holidays. Uh, me neither. Mm, okay, yeah. Oh, it's awesome, right? Yeah. The hooks. Oh. Like the things. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's Especially that? Osborne. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a John Lydon book. Oh, yeah. I think it's like, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that that guy that wrote that book, The Heavy Metal on You? Alright. Sounds like his name. Hmm. That's pretty hmm. cool. So you want to go back? Oh, no way. Oh, that's BB King. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that picture. Like, there you go. Why'd you like to have that picture? That'd be awesome. How's that to get Richie that brush? Love to. Jeez, right? Can't afford a Richie. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Green Day. Facts, answers, questions. You got that one? No. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is cool right here. Yeah, this little thing. It's like a guitar made out of like a oh, pot yeah, corn. or something. Corn. Oh, yeah. I haven't been here in forever, it's man. It's one of their guitars. I haven't been here in years. Me either. <laughs> Dime bag series. Oh, there is too. These are cool. These are cool. Right there on the left is the Fender Stratocaster. They made House of Guitars ones. And on the right is the Jackson made them. They actually sold them like in their company. They made like 50 for the 50 years. That's cool. But those are one each. These are that big that those companies actually made the colors for. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't have none of the frame on the And this is where we waited for Mike Dent. <laughs> yup. Oh, yeah, famous Dent. And yeah, this is where they have the in-store performances here. And we agree. Yeah, whenever those start right up. <laughs> 
Maybe not here, but they'll put it in the river. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tiny ball. That's free. Drop your demo CD. What? Shit, we could we should do something like that for Richie. Yeah. It's cool. That's just a big thing about Brian Center. Mm-hmm. I just saw the res. Yeah, it is the bill for it. Yeah, I just got that one. So, for everybody watching at home, uh, there's so much more to this place, but the owner is like, I don't want to get too close with COVID. <laughs> but look at this, uh, they building. Gibson did the same thing with their guitars. Yeah, I saw that. That was the guitar limited edition. I was edition looking at one. that. Oh, please. I'm tripping back. Hi, Daniel Spaghetto. Oh, cool. man. Look at the Sparkle Flake amps. Look at, look at these. Like, oh, man. Those are cool. Wow. This stuff just sits there, man. This is stuff like Brian said that would love to get his hands on. First step, they have Richie said so. He said Richie would love to get that. Okay, back to the CDs. I'm going to keep going, I guess. Yeah, man. Oh, there's Ozzy right there again. Yeah, he's here, Blanche. Look at that, poison. Look at that, he's got the picture. Look at that. Huh? He's hiding this up, you think? He's starting to kind of slide down. Thank you. Look at that Marilyn Manson oh, interview. Picture disc. Dude, a little. That's good. Thank you. Oh my God, I just found something awesome, kid. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Twisted sister. There. Oh shit. I'm gonna take a second here. Twisted a sister. You own it all. <laughs> you own it all? Yep. Double negative. This is what we're talking about though. When you look at this shit. I 
I saw this musical. Oh, really? Yeah. That's well, pretty good. Soundtracks. I had a pretty woman in the musical. Celebrity death match. Yes. This is our glorious leader. <laughs> that was tapes, man. Oh, it was tapes. Yeah, Elvis Presley's not have your freaking leather pants. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> it's not hug. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Damn, it's staying right there. Oh. And then the clock oh, right orange poster. Oh, the clock right orange poster is also. Oh, you throw them up when you go outside. I know. Did you just? Yeah, look at the clock at the clock, yeah. They got a print everywhere. You can't find it. So like even their website doesn't have it anymore. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna show you for that thing. Yeah, Sex like pistols. Four hundred bucks on it. Jesus. Here's the thing. I have the pants all down there. Fortieth <laughs> anniversary sets. I have the It's Alive one now. Mm-hmm. But these are the other ones that I wanted. Which they say those are. Don't say. Christmas card. Yeah. There's some movies in there if you care to go through them. <laughs> oh, glories. I think these are music. Music glories, yeah. The concerts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hog t shirt. Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? Is it a t shirt or is it long sleeve? I think it's a t shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah t shirt. Yeah. I don't think I have a hog shirt. I used to wear one anymore. Guitar method in the style. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Pretty awesome. I'm take a break. I gotta look through some t-shirts. Okay. What do you say? Successful trip? Successful trip, yep. That Sweating was, our balls off, though. Yeah. So there was like a little <laughs> bit more of like other music memorabilia than just Ramones, but 
We have one more stop in mind. Yes. It's kind of neat though, because one of the owners or the other our other record stores is in there shopping. Yeah, I saw, I saw him. Oh yeah, it's not open. Bought some t-shirts. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me put this in the bag. It's a comic we just bought too. I shall know all the people the comics we bought too. Oh. Yeah, they uh... Uh, well, you know, there's some remote stuff in there. I couldn't find the Joey or the Marky or the Tommy because they put some, like, a free bin of posters up that I'm pretty sure is, like, right in front of it all. I think it is. But let me get in here real quick, please. Thank you. I need some hand sanitizer. But, uh, oh, yeah, me too. But, you know, we saw the, we saw the other ones, the guitars, and, and it, it was kind of cool because we actually they showed up a lot more of the other stuff. Right, yeah. That's funny though, the Bob Shop guy's in there. I know. Looking for stuff. I know. Oh, hey, okay, um, let me yeah. turn this around. That was fun. That what was fun. The hell? That was weird. Comic book shopping. I yeah, guess. comics so, and records. Yeah, we were look just how, Look at how red my face is from just being in yeah, there. Yeah, it was hot in there. Holy it nuts. Really, it was really hot in there. Yeah. Well, they only had one uh, fan. Yeah, the place is too cheap to buy air conditioning. If people like this video, though, maybe. Um, they can get air conditioning? Yeah. So maybe <laughs> next thing we can do, like some other time, is go to the uh, Record Archive. Yes. Show them that, too, because that's that's way bigger than this, and it's yeah. clean. It's my favorite. I just but like that, though, because it just looks like an 80s. This is, this is so classic, like, though. You have bedroom, to, you know? Like, you can't forget it. It's awesome. So we're going to go to the Penny Arcade, which is an iconic location for both Ramones and everybody else. Widowmaker. Uh, and then I'm not sure if we can put it in the video or not. But we'll stop by Eastman's. Oh yeah. Thing. Stop by Eastman. George. George Eastman. Kodak. This is where we had. This is where my uh, cruise nights were, but now they're canceled. No, I got some punk teens so, sitting up there. This was my favorite one. I know. Me too. I swear. You know, it's, it's, you know, pandemic shopping is like, it's one thing, but look at that, really. This place started in a basement. I know how big it is, holy crap. It's like 10 buildings or something. Man. I used to do drum lessons there, but yeah. realized I can't be a drummer, you gotta get so. A, you gotta get a, uh, you gotta get a little clip of, of the front of it, because the front's the iconic part. It's like, in, I'm not sure if we'll be able to, if we can put the commercial in or not, but there's some like funny. Yeah, we put the commercials. This is a House of Guitars commercial, but it's really for our records. Buy them so we can buy these things. This is a poem. This is the Ramones Rock to Russia album, 385. And this is Ramones Leave Home. This is Linda Stein. This is Danny Fields' partner. And this is the great Ra Ramones. You buy the Rock to Russia because the Ramones want to buy this most right guitar here. So buy this. That way the Ramones will be able to buy the Stan Electron and the most right. Come on, come on, you guys. Commercials in there and stuff. I didn't see Armin today. No, Bruce was there though. They kind of alternate. Yes. Uh, Armin comes like after five. Oh, okay. He's not even probably not even awake yet. But Bruce oh, yeah. was There's in there. Another camera crew over there. The hell are they filming? But uh, yeah, it's like Armin started it, I believe, and then Bruce kind of came in to help run them, run yeah. things. Yeah. And so Bruce kind of oh, takes yeah. over the first half, and then Armin comes takes over the night crew. But uh, yeah, there's the front of it. I mean, so many photos of it there. Yeah. Awesome. Whoa. She's going to It's a Ronnie Quake. Yes. I just stop by the pop shop sometime too, I guess. Just to kind of. Yeah. Much now it's open. Yeah, he's got real bad asthma, so he's. I'm surprised he's even out right now. I look nut. Cause that freaking the house of guitars will give you asthma regardless. I sneeze every time I look at the records at Record Archive cause they're the old ones. Yeah, yeah, they're Makes all me musty sneeze. and dusty and crusty. Hope they're not crusty. Oh, they're definitely crusty. They're definitely crusty? Definitely crusty. crab. Yeah, I'm gonna lose Uber. Find out where my baby went. My granddaddy. Works right here. John! I think I like.
like our videos a lot better like this. It seems like it's more laid back. It is. We're very laid back people. <laughs> I don't know if, I mean, the last time people watched, but it's been a while. Yeah. It's because we had our own things going on. With the pandemic <laughs> going on and everything, we haven't gone anywhere. I know. Even when things did open up, we still haven't gone anywhere. Because I just don't trust it yet. I don't know. I don't, I don't trust it yet either. But we're getting out a little bit more. Still being safe though. Yeah. yeah. Uber drivers? Yeah. They're uber annoying. I've never been to Uber job here. <laughs> it's a nice truck over there. Yeah, that thing's been sitting there rusting away for as long as I've been around. Well, not as long, but you know, it's, it's been there a long time. It's been mm -hmm. there at least 15 years. The guy kind of drives it. Then there's a big mansion here with a lot of garages and they tore them all down. Oh, man. They turned down everything cool. Nothing like, good ever lasts. No, except for the hog. I wonder what's gonna happen, like if Armin and Bruce ever pass yeah, away. It's like, been, a, been a long time thing that people been wondering about. Like I hope they have like. Uh, they ever have like an estate sale there or something? Oh my god. Yeah, or like like a like a pick and grab thing. I know what the first thing I'm going for. What? I'm going for that Beatles album above the door. Oh shit! Yeah. Because you don't even see it when you walk in. Exactly. So I'm going for that Beatles album. For people who don't know, the Beatles album we're talking about, I'm not sure if you got in the video or not. Uh, I could put it in there. Uh, but it's it's the Butcher album. Like, can. Come on. Drivers. She's trying to smoke a cigar, that's Some why. Ass. But uh, yeah, it's a <laughs> Butcher, Butcher album, it's called, that with the babies on it. And yeah. They're recalled like right away, and there's only like a few left around. And our record store guy, Armin, refused to send it back when it got recalled, so he still has it. And he still got the freaking paper that says that they're recalled, so it's, it's worth thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. And, like, some are still around with a sticker of the new album on, you can feel it. Uh, I don't recommend it, I've ruined one. Well, it wasn't a real one, but I ruined a record in hell from trying to do that, but... I guess, like, a website you can go to that'll do it for you, I don't know. But that's a real deal one. It's worth like, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised that it's worth like 30 grand. I know, Jesus. It's like one of the most valuable records of all time. Yeah, I know, people are crazy, dude. I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, this is like, all oh, last week they did not work. I'm like, there's like a bunch of kids going to clean it. No, we are stupid, that's why. Again, when we were at the Penny Arcade. Yeah, we're going to go down Lake Avenue, which, real quickly, has its own rock history tie in. Uh, foreigners driving on the red line, he sings about drag racing down Lake Avenue. Yep. And that's where we're going. That's right. Yeah. All right, see you at the Penny Arcade, everybody. Woo! All right. So here we are, um, Charlotte. This is uh, where my, what would he be, my great grandfather? Yeah, he's our grandfather's dad, so yeah. Our great grandfather's shop. He used to have an antique store right here. And uh, they tore it down. Right where the Abbots is. Yeah, and that big empty spot here is like kind of on the side there. Yep. That's just a little bonus, yeah. I wonder if we can put pictures in. Do you have pictures of it? Uh, I don't know if I might, but you can like literally Google this area and you can see the pictures. He was in sure. the paper a few times. Yeah, I'll have to insert that. Skateboarders. Oh, the little skateboards. So anyway, this is the back of the Penny Arcade now. This place right was legendary. There. Yeah. Um, the Ramones played here in, what, like 1978? Yep. Uh, my one grandfather was there. He met Dee Dee and Tommy. I knew a girl that was related to Dee Dee. Uh, like my uncle said, like saw Widowmaker here with Dee Snyder's band. And 
This was like a big area too in the 90s when Body Count came here. Their album Cop Killer just came out. And this whole area was like police trying to get the show banned and stuff. And I had an uncle that was at that show. Let's go to it. Um, there's a lot of a lot of bands that were here. But this is, you know, if you want to do a remote story, you can miss the Penny Arcade. This is just the back side of it. And now it's a landmark. Even though they, they were going to reopen it, and then they never did. Bar, then they closed it and then it turned into like a sports bar then they closed that and then they went and made this big old sign because the owner died commemorating the owner and they did a plaque and everything and and then they just never nothing ever happened can i go to it yeah, yeah. you'll go around the front side let's go around the front side right now we're actually oh, sorry. Right. right now we're actually just walking we're walking through where my grandfather's shop I thought there was a walkway up here. Nope, I guess not. There's no walkway. Booyah! Oh, yeah. Hard to do skinny jeans. Hard to do, exactly. Look at that, no mask. No mask. Oh, wait, but the comps. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. What the hell is this? Oh. Hey. 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 Science falling apart again. I know. So this is what it looks like now. You can still see the logo in there from the bar that closed. As it used to be. It's hard to see it. But yeah, I mean, this is it. This is it. The Ramones used to hang out. They were hanging out right here. Getting ready to go do a set. It was the first, first album, first or second album cycle. So they were new. They were brand new. And uh, yeah. My granddaddy was going out with a girl that knew Dee Dee and he got invited down here and at the time he said they were too loud but now he wishes he would have liked them more at the time <laughs> but I mean the Ramones also played like Rochester Science Center and then they did uh, RIT but I'm gonna leave probably leave those out of the video because it's just a school now yeah college but like this here is like it's an iconic club rock venue in the, you know rochester in the country but it's also a pretty decent stop in the ramones tour yep you know yeah all of lake avenue torn up i know Jesus. it's like freaking uh die hard but uh this guy's gonna park right here <laughs> naturally <laughs> but uh yeah this is good though <laughs> Anything else to add? Not at this moment. I might have more things to add on the way home. Okay. But at this very moment, I mean, this is it. Unfortunately, it's closed. It's abandoned. Hopefully, it'll be open one day. But yeah. that's pretty much it for the Ramones uh, tour for Rochester. Hopefully, soon we'll be able to go to New York City again in our tour guide for the price of a Diet Coke is going to show us around there at all their stops. Yep. Pretty much the entire city of New York is a Ramones tour, so that'll be a big video. Yeah. But we wanted to start it now, and we just wanted to get back into the YouTube again. So. Alright. Yeah, this is it, man. I mean. Land it there, then. Alright. Let's go get some grub. Uh, to be continued not goodbye but to be continued yes and get some grub and get some grub okay all right well, bye. Goodbye, bye bye bye
I'm smiling, but you can't tell. 